Netmotion Wireless. Today in this video series, we will talk about Netmotion Diagnostics, and specifically its feature set around broadband performance management. If you think of the corporate network today, there exist lots of tools to manage and monitor that network, to really see the performance and how well the applications are working for the users. The problem is when those same end users go out in the field and enter the public cellular network, it becomes dark. There's no tool out there or a report that gives you the ability to see how well things are performing for that end user and how well that network itself is performing, such as where are they having coverage issues? Are they getting the best technology available? Is a different carrier or potentially a different device would perform better than the one they're currently using? And are all of the devices being deployed and used on a regular basis? This is the genesis of Netmotion Diagnostics. It's the ability to give you visibility into the public cellular network. So how does it work? On each device, there's a small agent, and every five seconds, it takes a snapshot of information about what's happening on the device in regard to the cellular network. It can look at signal quality. It can look at the, who the user is that's logged onto the device. It can look at the technology type. It understands things about the carrier information, such as IMEI. And if GPS is available, it will also grab GPS data, so it un understands where the problem is occurring. Every 20 minutes, this is then packaged up and sent up to a console. This console can be on-premise or it can be in the cloud. With this console, we then can develop many rich, rich reports, such as showing a true coverage map, true to your network because it's what your users are actually receiving. Looking at individual devices, well, what about overall usage, drop analysis, application visibility, and then having a full inventory management system because every five seconds, again, we're tracking all of this detail about what's happening on the device. So let's take a look. Diagnostics has a lot of data. You can see across the top, I've got several tabs. Each tab also has sub-tabs. There's many, many reports in this product. For the sake of time, we're just going to focus on a few key reports. Let's start with the coverage map. Here we're seeing the United States. What I can do is I can zoom into a particular location to really see the details of the data. In this case, I've got two carriers in this area that I'm collecting data from, AT&T and Verizon. What I'm looking at here is a visual view of AT&T's LTE coverage that my devices are receiving in these locations. I can click on a particular location and get more details about that. Each square can zoom into about 240 square feet. You can see here this is LTE signal and the average quality is very good. I've also taken five samples at that particular location. That means that you know five devices potentially went through that location or someone went through there and stayed for a while where they collected data. But again, the true value is the increase of the number of samples of data. My users, just by doing their jobs, are constantly doing the drive testing for me and creating this map. If I need to compare carriers, I can easily just click on this button to go back over to the Verizon data in the same location. Again, if it doesn't show data, that just means I don't have users that go into that area. Now here I'm looking at LTE data. So in the similar locations that I was at, I can zoom in and I can see details. In this case, I have 24 samples at that particular location, and the average quality there is fair. If I look at 3G data, you can see the locations where I have 3G data collected and that its quality is excellent. This is aggregated data across all of my users. Now what I can do is I can zoom in on a particular device by going to the device map. I can search on a device. I can search by device name or by device user or even the phone number. In this case, I've chosen this particular device. You can see this is the drawing of the route that device took at this time. I can click on the device and I can move it anywhere along that route. If I zoom in, you can see on the lower left, I have lots and lots of details about the signal quality in that particular location. If I'm collecting LTE data, I even collect more than just RSSI. Again, I can move the device along the route, and you can see at this red X, the device was actually disconnected from the network. Then it reconnected at another location. 
This gives you the ability to truly troubleshoot devices in the field. And this gives you the ability to troubleshoot problems that might have occurred after the fact. You know, the problem a lot with cellular connectivity and users that have issues is they don't necessarily report the problem right when it happens and you don't have any data to go back and look at to try to troubleshoot, you know, where and when that problem occurred, where was the device. This is all of the detail that I have exactly about that particular location and what was happening. I can also click the play button and replay that device's route. Now let's take a look at another tab. In this case, I'm going to click on Network Usage. Network Usage shows me usage across all of my carriers for a time period that I choose. In this case, let's just choose the last 30 days. You can see I've got several carriers here. What I can do also is then I can click into the Users tab. This will then show me all of my users over the last 30 days in a snapshot of what kind of activity and what kind of data are they downloading. You know, I can see my heavy users here, and those are devices that maybe I want to monitor, you know, because maybe that device usage is higher than I expected. Again, thinking that we, we can also alert on this usage. So if a device goes above a certain threshold, I can then get an alert automatically to know that they've used up more data than I had expected. If I'm also using mobility, diagnostics can speak to mobility as well and not only just show me the usage, but show me the applications that were being run across the broadband network. Here's a view into all my applications across all my users. And you can see in some cases, you know, of course, Chrome is going to be the heavy application, but maybe there's applications such as Spotify that I didn't expect to see. That's where I could use policy to potentially block that application. Now let's take a look at another report called Dropped Connections. This is a way I can proactively troubleshoot devices in the field and look for patterns where devices may be dropping a lot every hour. In this case, I've got the signal quality, and this is dropped connections per hour. If a particular device has a problem in the field and tends to drop a lot in an hour, such as this one here, I could then go troubleshoot that device and, and start my investigation to see what might be happening there. Lastly, let's look at the inventory tab. Again, since there's an agent on every device capturing all of this detail every five seconds, I can create a full inventory management system. If you see here, you can see in my own deployment, I have many, many devices in the field. What I can do is I can filter on a particular device in question. This just brings up those devices. Now you can see there's lots of detail I'm collecting. I've got the phone number, the manufacturer, the model. I've even got the firmware version. So if, let's say, a, a new firmware comes out that starts causing a problem, I can quickly find what devices are running that particular firmware. I also have all the detail I would need to call the carrier and potentially cancel that plan or change that plan. In addition, I even know the last time it was used. And if I look at the bottom, I know what device used it last. This is very advantageous because then I can know exactly where that error card is. All of this detail can be exported out into Excel or into another format that's convenient. Netmotion Diagnostics, Broadband Performance Management, giving you visibility into the cellular network.